Hi there and good evening, my name is Hinda and welcome to my channel. So I've recently been seeing a few crochet creators who are using AI to design patterns and different designs for amigurumi, so I decided to try it myself and I downloaded ChatGPT and asked it for a simple pattern for an amigurumi sheep and it gave me very simple and clear instructions and I actually printed it out so that I'll have it here easily accessible. And I'm really curious to see how it'll come out. If it comes out a good sheet, then I can maybe try more patterns with ChatGPT. We'll see. It seems that it has very clear and easy instructions. I have here everything I need, the yarn, the stuffing, the hook, the instructions. So let's get started. So a little note that I just realized when I was doing the magic ring, it does not give exactly, exactly specific instructions. For example, oh, you see it backwards. It says, it says to start with a magic ring and then it says six stitches into the magic ring and then it right away goes already to round two, which is increase in each stitch around. It does not mention closing the magic ring. So if you're already a crocheter, you would for sure know to close the magic ring but if you're a very first beginner I don't know if you would know automatically to do that and the chat GPT left that out so just a little note to pay attention to Okay, so I've now started decreasing and it does mention to stuff, to add the stuffing and stuff along as you go, as much as you need. So that's good that it mentions that. So I'm reaching the end of the body piece. I'm gonna add a little bit more stuffing and then close it up. And it says to leave a tail for sewing. It says to fasten off leaving a long tail for sewing. And I'm not sure why it says that because I imagine that you would sew the head onto this and not the other way around. So you would leave a long tail on the head to sew it on. So I'm not sure why you would need a long tail on the body. Maybe we'll actually need this long tail. Or maybe it means leaving a long tail for sewing just for closing up that last hole. I'm not sure, but either way, I'll close it up and I won't cut the tail yet until I see that I, if I don't need it later. Okay, so this is the body. It is pretty small. I wonder if I would have asked for a big pattern if it would have given me a bigger um, pattern for this but for now for the tryout it's good now on to the head there we go it's very basic it's magic ring increases a few rows decreases and that's it basically like just a little ball it seems like it so it's very simple instructions very easy no complicated stitches and um, counting too many stitches and whatever. It's very, very basic. Okay, so by the head, it also says to leave a long tail for sewing. So, and I wouldn't need also tail here and also tail on the head. So that's another little detail that it got a bit mixed up. I imagine that it automatically generates to say leave a long tail for sewing even though practically you don't need both on the head and on the body a tail for sewing. So just a note, so it's a good thing to note that. 
Here is the head and I actually prefer this tail for sewing on since it's a bit longer. So the tail from the body I'm going to hide inside because I won't need it. Okay, so I've got the body and the head and now for the ears. And it does mention make two ears. So that's good that it mentions that. It shouldn't, uh, and not just tell you the instructions of one ear without saying that you need another. Although it's pretty obvious to know that, but it's good that it makes note to make two. I like that it says that. Got my ears done. And I will mention that here it is useful to leave a tail on both of them since they're both sewn on separately. So it's good that it does say to leave a tail and it says make two so you basically do it on both. Now for the legs and this it says to the with black. I'm gonna make four legs. Okay, so now that I've got all of my pieces ready, I could begin assembling. And here is my last point and criticism on the AI. It does not give any details of how to assemble. It says, sew on the head, onto the body, attach the ears, embroider a mouth, a uh, eyes, etc. So I'm just gonna have to figure it out myself, more or less. Even the head onto the body, I'm not sure if it goes like this or like that. I think it's like that, right? Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so let me begin. It's looking pretty cute so far. The ears I think might be a bit too big, but maybe not. Okay, the feet just look wrong. I don't know, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's too big or if I didn't sew it on correctly. I don't know, it just looks weird. And the rest of the feet will it look better or worse oh I see now I think if I add all four feet it might look better so I'm not gonna give up just yet I'm gonna try sewing on the rest of the feet and we'll see how it looks Okay, yeah, I was right. With all feet sewn on, it looks much better. It actually looks really cute. Really, really cute. I'm now going to try to sew on some eyes and a mouth. And then we'll see the final result. So here's the final reveal. So cute, the mouth came out a little crooked, but that was the best that I could come up with. All in all, it came out a cute little sheep. And I think the type of yarn that I used also makes it kind of sheepy. I use the Himalaya Dolphin Baby, which makes it soft and fluffy. So my conclusion for AI generated patterns is it's okay, it's very basic, but sometimes little details here and there, it misses out. Like, it's kind of like Google Translate, like something translate, but it's not exactly. So I would prefer using a pattern that was made by a person using a human brain 
and that it was tried out and that it came out good and all the details are correct. But for something basic like this, it's pretty good. Thank you for watching and see you next time. All the best.